I want to I want to ask you guys watching out there how did you get started in amateur radio I'm I'm keen to find out how you got your start what age you got your start I did a little bit of I did a poll not that long ago on the channel about what age you got started and I'm going to put all that data into a spreadsheet and then show you the breakdown of age because it was quite interesting actually I noticed that a lot of people got their license when they were a lot younger than what I expected anyway sort of you know um, you know teens early 20s and then I guess there's a bit of a gap there until they're a little bit older when they got back into the hobby again because I noticed a lot of people said that they got reinterested in it later on so as for me I started when I was 14 uh, no I was 13 I got my license back in uh, 2004 and I got interested one day when I the, the earliest thing I can remember I always was interested in computers and electronics and all that sort of thing but the earliest thing that I can remember was going to my uncle's house and he had this radio sitting it was a Kenwood it was a Kenwood TS 120V sitting on on the bench uh, one one day on his work desk and I said to him what's what's this what's what's this uh, thing do anyway he said I'll put the headphones on and move the dial in the middle and see what you can hear and of course I'm only about 11 or 12 I think at this point and I put uh, put the headphones on and I heard a, I heard British accents I said where's this and he says you're hearing hearing radio radio stations uh, amateur radio operators in in Great Britain and that was amazing to me I couldn't believe it and I uh, asked heaps of questions and then he went outside and showed me the antenna and up to this point I hadn't even noticed it he'd been doing it for years but I'd never noticed it until this point then uh, then I found out after that that one of my other uncles is also an amateur radio operator and they or he got started because his uncle got started in amateur radio back in back in England so I don't know what it is about uncles but it must be something to do that every everyone's uncle is an amateur radio operator apparently at least in my situation so that was good and I got bitten by the bug and I went to the local radio club and saw that and also went to another amateur's house and checked all of their you know the gear out and learnt about all sorts of things I think I learnt about IRLP in the early days and Echolink and then learned about you know you could talk to satellites and all this sort of stuff which I thought was awesome which was really cool as a you know at that age I ended up uh, studying for my license I went to the radio and electronics school which has uh, done amateur radio training for quite a long time I think still still doing it um, Ron Bertrand VK2 RQ I've probably got that call sign wrong but uh, yeah Ron I did his uh, study material and uh, went for my exam and I think I got 95% or something and that in back then it was known as the novice limited so you didn't need to do Morse code it was it was the only it was the only license class that didn't need to do Morse code because we had uh, full light I think it was called full license intermediate which was Morse novice and novice limited and each one of them had varying words per minute requirements um, someone watching obviously in the, it would be able to correct me on exactly what they are and put them in the comment but com put them in the comments below but yeah I did the one that didn't require Morse and um, uh, that was good I got access to uh, HF um, I got uh, my first radio was an, a Yaesu FT 757GX got my first call sign which was VK7HAY and yeah that was really good I didn't I didn't know an awful lot in the early days um, I got a 
I borrowed a two meter radio from another ham and that was that was great. They set me up with that. Um, had that running in the mobile. Um, well, when I mean the mobile, I couldn't drive at the time. So I used to go around in dad's Nissan Patrol and I'd put the magnetic base antenna on the roof of the car, little two meter quarter wave whip and I'd have the radio sitting on the dash and as he's driving around, I'd be talking on the radio, on the repeaters. And uh, there was a joke back in the day that they'd have a Hayden filter on the repeater because I was on there that often. So <laughs> we uh, we had good fun. And uh, yeah, and then I got the, so I had the Yaesu FT757GX. That was the first radio I bought and that was an HF radio. And uh, I had problems because for some reason, I don't know why, I, I, picked, I picked the 15 meter band to start on. So I wasn't hearing stations, I wasn't listening at the right time and sort of getting a little bit frustrated. I uh, contacted some some of the hams from the club and one of them come up and gave me an 80 meter dipole and he set it up and all he said was, look, all you need to do is, or all you need to know is put this antenna, we'll put this antenna as high as possible, helped out to install it. Um, and he said that you just need to listen on the radio at night between these frequencies and of course i did that and started to hear stations from all over australia and it was good in new zealand made some contacts learned a little bit then gradually learned a little bit more about um two meters i was in a location where it was not very good for rf it was um in a bit of a rf hole in a valley and um, my signal was not that good into the repeater, which was located some distance away. So some hams come along and they installed an antenna on my roof. They installed a, a Yagi antenna and, and uh, installed that and that really helped. And then I learned a little bit more about directional antennas and how they're better um, if you're you know, trying to get your signal in one direction and stuff. And then later on I upgraded uh, to an advanced, well, it, my, my Novice Limited ended up becoming called what is now known as Standard and then I upgraded and got my advanced license. Someone's beeping at me. Oh, that's another ham. <laughs> that's VK7F CDW. There we go. I'll give him a shout out because he's beeping at me. <laughs> you can see the antennas on the on the car. I sort of stick out like a sore thumb and I've got my stickers on the back of the car, so I guess uh, <laughs> I guess I'm gonna stick out, aren't I? Yeah, so anyway, I upgraded to VK7 um, HA and then eventually I'm, I got the call sign that I wanted, which is my current one, which is double H, which is my initials, uh, a little while later when that become free. So I guess I've been rambling on here for a little while, but I guess the point of the video is that um, for those new hams that are starting out, we all had to start somewhere. Um, I didn't know an awful lot back in the early days. I still don't know an awful lot now. There's, there's heaps of stuff that I want to learn and that I just want to, I want to do. Um, so don't get discouraged. See if you can find someone that can help you. Um, whether that's here on YouTube, we try and cover some topics so if you've got any suggestions then let us know and we can help you and make videos that hopefully explain it um if we even if we know about it that is not all of us know about everything especially myself um try and find someone in your local club who's uh who will help you out so that was the experience that i had i lent on the help from them and they really assisted and helped me um so definitely do that and just uh, have fun. Don't don't worry about too. Don't worry too much if you don't know about something, because we're all learning. And also, don't feel intimidated by someone else knowing about a subject. So I know. I, I mean, I've done this as well. I'll come into maybe into the radio club into a conversation that I've got no idea about and I don't know what they're talking about and it just, you know, it's over my head. But if you do are in that situation, don't feel intimidated. Try to 
if you're if you're genuinely interested in what they're talking about just ask them you know what is this and, and just learn and eventually you can maybe even <laughs> um, experiment with it and maybe even become an authority on it at some point I suppose <laughs>